Now we have Felix Krause of uh, Milk the Sun. Thank you very much for having me um, here today. I'm going to speak to you about the possibility of trading PV assets and the beauty of a secondary market for PV investments. Let me show you one picture um, regarding return on investment of new installations. I took here Germany as an example, and you can see that generally the rate of return you're currently making on, on uh, larger scale solar installations, so I'm not speaking about your private household installation, but rather something you invest in to earn money. Um, and as you can see, none of these figures look particularly sexy, nothing you want to invest in. So what about the possibility in also investing into something running? We call that the secondary market. And um, the secondary market is extremely interesting. Why should someone, if you have, a, if you have invested your money into a solar system, say you invested like 100,000 euros, why should you sell it? Um, we got two possibilities, so either for the private sectors, it could be tax, divorce is always like a typical uh, subject, why people need to sell something, transfer of property, um, you need the cash, um, financial restructuring. In the commercial sector, if a fund has invested into solar, um, they might uh, need the money to do something else. They need to transfer their portfolio. They want to get rid of non-performing assets. Um, the returns aren't as expected. Whatever reason, solar systems that are operating become for sale. Just for clarity, it's not that they are actually relocated to another in, uh, site. It's more that uh, the um, right to sell or buy the energy is uh, transferred. So it's like selling a house you're not living in and you're renting out. Um, what are the advantages? Uh, first of all, you use, you're making use of the old feed-in tariff system, um, not only in Germany, but all over Europe. The feed-in tariffs have been reduced over the couple of years and months, and uh, we are currently seeing in the German coalition negotiations that they might want to get rid of them completely. So you're making use of old feed-in tariffs. Um, you have a reduced construct construction risk because you're buying something that's already there, you, so you can actually go there and see what's happening. Um, you can directly evaluate your risk versus return. Um, you can may sometimes make use of the existing debt financing uh, structure. You can uh, repower the, uh, um, the, up to the installation. And um, that is, for most people, a very important subject. It's you get rid of all these children diseases because everything that's already running a year, you know if something went wrong, it had already been taken care of. So eventually, in contrast to what PV in uh, investments are seen at, PV is a liquid asset. It's just like owning a house, which you can sell. Um, just some background figures about the European market. So you can actually see that uh, the EPEA is expecting uh, the solar market to grow until 2016. But the interesting figure is, how is the secondary market going to look like for photovoltaic? If we assume that the average photovoltaic system is selling for 1,500 euros per kilowatt peak, we are looking at a secondary PV market of more than a billion, five billion euros. So I think this is worth considering and I think there's a fair share for everyone. Um, what do we do? The PV market and especially the secondary market was characterized by market failure, high transaction costs, agents being involved and totally in being in transparent market. We from Milk the Sun have established an online portal on which you can trade, promote and buy um, investments in solar power. What do we do? Just to give you some, some highlights, uh, when we first presented in uh, Berlin 2012, we launched that day uh, with a special focus to Europe. One and a half years later, we are working on a worldwide basis. Um, we have about one gigawatt peak uh, ready for commercialization. Um, we have a worldwide project base, so we have done business 
in Europe, Asia, uh, America. We are doing business in India. We're doing business in Australia. So we're really true worldwide platform. Um, we have an investor base that have already done business with Milk the Sun from over 40 countries. Um, we have um, generally transferred the market or changed how business is done. And um, as it said in the last point, it's, uh, we've provided a liquid um, solution for sellers and buyers in the PV market. Thank you very much. I have a question for you. Are you looking for money? Um, it could be kind of too late. But I mean, of course, everyone... What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Things uh, can change. I don't know. We'll never know. But we're not actively looking for money at the moment. Because you are cash flow positive? We are cash flow positive, yes. Okay. And how are you funded up to now? Do you um, have any outside investors? No, we are funded by ourselves. We are funded through our revenue and we are funded through the kind of uh, kind support of Climate Kick, mm. who actually brought us here today. Okay. And uh, so if you want to invest in this company, you have to make him a really uh, good offer. You would have to. <laughs> Do you have a question for Felix? Well, thank you very much for having me here today. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Here's your speaker gift. Thank you. You're welcome.